What's up my fellow rock stars? Okay, so for today we're gonna be taking a look at some great music and I'm not talking Beethoven. I'm talking about some real fine piece of art. Okay, so y'all know the rapper 6 9 Snitch9, the Skittles mascot, whatever you want to call him. Love him or hate him, you gotta admit that he's a marketing genius. Anyway, so the other day, I was looking for some new music to listen to until I came across a guy who I'm convinced is 6 9s actual brother. And when I tell you that he's the biggest clone ever, I mean it. Like, we've had Ariana Grande copycats and Charlie D'Amelio copycats, but this guy takes it to an entire new level of copycat. He goes by the name of Zix1, and if you think that his name sounds similar, just wait until you hear his voice, because it is identical. Like, it's actually scarier than that one lookalike of Greta Thunberg from 1898. Okay guys, so with that being said, today we're going to be taking a look at this wannabe 6 9 roasting him, and just having a good laugh. This video isn't meant to be taken seriously, it's called satire, so just, you know, sit back, relax, you know, just enjoy. But just before we get into this, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, or else your hair and teeth will turn rainbow overnight. Okay, so a few months ago, back in May, around the time that Gooba came out, Zix1 released a music video for his new song titled Gookie. And you know how when rappers release a song, they usually say, out now on all platforms. For example, on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify. Well, Zix1 took that saying literally because he even uploaded his music video onto... And, um, yeah, just don't ask me how I know that. Okay, bye. Got a hundred bands. Real crazy shit, yo. Okay, hold up. This guy claims that he's got a hundred bands, got a hundred bands, but apparently can't afford to buy himself a new pair of pants that actually fit. I mean, unless all that money's in his pant pockets, and that explains why his pants are sagging down that low. And what is going on? Why is he climbing those stairs? Like, who does Spider Man think he is trying to convince me that he's got a hundred thousand dollars when his pants literally look like he bought them from Value Village? And look, I'm not making fun of people who go thrifting, okay? But you can't be flexing, saying you got all this money when your shirt literally be looking like you stole it off of Peter Griffin himself. Okay, okay, stop. What is going on? I, I just want to know why he broke that plate in the middle of the floor. Like, who does he think he is? Logan Paul? Yeah. Okay, let's be real though. When the guy's mom came home and saw all that mess on the ground, she probably took out the wooden spoon and gave him the goddamn spanking of a lifetime. Also, I just gotta ask, what is going on with that house? He's got some, um, weird white stuff on the ground. Either King Kong busted a fat nut on the ground, or that's some Coca-Cola, if you know what I'm saying. Fish, nigga, I got the nukes blowing my brady on. Fish, nigga, shoot the rugas out, I'm spraying them up now. Yo, this guy needs to chill with that knife. And honest question, is that videographer okay? Because it literally looks like he's having a seizure while he's filming the music video. And honestly, I swear, if I earned a dollar for every time Zix1 said, fish, nigga, fish, nigga, fish, nigga, fish, nigga, fish, nigga, fish, nigga, I'd probably be richer than the youngest flexor of the century, Lil Tay. You already know Okay, but for real though, I have two important questions. First of all, who gave this white mole rat looking ass the Willy Wonka golden n-word pass? I hope he knows that saying that word every two seconds doesn't make him a good rapper. And second of all, why is he wearing both a blue and a red bandana? All I have to say is that in the streets, that's a big no-no. <laughs> This is, oh my goodness, I, can't. I, I just can't anymore. I don't know why this dude was holding a knife in his hand earlier when his hair literally looks like it could decapitate somebody. Do you guys know those fancy Japanese restaurants where the chef cooks the food in front of a bunch of people? They do all these cool tricks and put on a show while they're cooking the food. Well, I honestly think that if the rapping career doesn't work for Zix1, which I mean, it probably won't, then maybe he could become one of those Japanese teppanyaki chefs and instead of using a knife, cut the beef with his hair. Like, god damn, buddy be swinging his head like he's some sort of sea monster swinging his tentacles.
What is this music video? Zix 1B looking like a 12 year old who just discovered Bobby Shmurda for the first time and thinks that he's the next biggest rapper. Newsflash, he's not. He's just randomly jumping in circles and throwing up gun signs with his hands. Like you can tell that Zix 1's definitely not about that gangster life and probably grew up as that one kid who did some guy named Ryan's homework every day so that he wouldn't get a wedgie after class. Okay, so we only took a look at about half the song but I'm not even gonna bother with the rest because it's pretty much just another minute straight of him saying over and over again. Like I cannot listen to another second of that music video because my ears are literally ringing right now. His music sounds like 6 9 and Jojo Siwa got mixed into a single person, developed throat cancer, and then produced this Am I even allowed to call music? All right, so there's an Instagram page for this guy and all I want to say is that he's got some very questionable videos on there. No, it's mad crazy. This pony right here. Yo, this shit is mad cute or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see the rainbow. What is going on? Why is Buddy flexing? Hold on, is that Rainbow Dash, My Little Pony? And did you guys hear that at the beginning? What was that moan? This pony right here. Like, we've had a guy who's attracted to his car, another guy who's attracted to women way older than him, and we've even had a guy who's attracted to balloons. But the toy pony, I mean, that's a first for me. Like, Zix1 just continues to get stranger and stranger by the second. Wow, this guy's dancing. Amazing. Charlie D'Amelio, who? <laughs> Okay, but for real though, I have no idea what those dance moves are. Why does he keep hopping around like a lost kangaroo? He literally looks like a five-year-old who just stepped on his Legos that he forgot to take off the ground. Oh my god, this guy is insane. If an earthquake was a person, Zix1 would be the guy. Honestly, I think if you were to play any one of his songs on a speaker, the entire building that is playing in would collapse. I swear that this guy only knows a single dance move because he's literally doing the exact same thing that he did in the previous video and even in the music video. I mean, maybe he really needs to take a pee and that's why he's jumping. I don't know. All right, anyway, guys, I've had enough of reacting to Zix1, so that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media. I'll leave a pinned comment and also in the description box with all my socials. I do hope that you were entertained by watching my video and did have a few good laughs. My only question, though, is why 6 9 Like, this guy could have chosen anybody. Drake, Justin Bieber, even Dr. Phil for all I care. But he chose 6 9 as his role model. I I don't know. I'm not telling him how to live his life. I just, it's, it's very strange. But anyway, guys, until next time, it's been Iron Steph. Peace.